practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. You understand me? Hit that sub button. Hit that bell button. Join this Fisk Unit Army. Get Fisk Unit tough. We so close to 4K. I can taste it. I can taste 4K. So hit the damn button. All right. With that being said, let's talk about Android 26 and his recent comments regarding training camp. Now, I've been the only giant YouTuber who's been covering this Saquon Barkley video. I mean, this Saquon Barkley situation every damn step of the way. Okay, I was I reported early that he may not be ready for week one. I did I, I did that video months ago. Everybody was like, "Fish, you got chill out. Fish, you need chill." All right. I also made the video about how they were not going to let Saquon Barkley handle the workload no more. And what happened? All of a sudden, we draft we we draft this kid in the fifth round. Um, we bring in um, what you call it, Booker. We bring in um, like two other running backs whose name I can't remember because they're not important. But the principle of the situation is we're looking for running back death. Okay. And I said all that to say this. Saquon, my G, do Big Fisk a favor, okay? Take your motherfucking time. You understand me? Do not come back early. Do not rush this, Saquon. We got this, bro. Daniel Jones, Kenny Galladay, Tony, we'll, we will be fine. We do not need Saquon Barkley to rush back like he did two years ago and be trash for a month. We don't need that. Remember when Saquon Barkley had the high ankle sprain? That was it a high ankle? Whatever. I forgot what exactly what the injury was. But in 2019, the boy Saquon came back early and was trash. Didn't Daniel Jones lead lead our lead us in rushing for like three straight games because Saquon Barkley wasn't completely healthy, and then. He didn't get right till like the last month of the season. And then Saquon Barkley was the best running back of football the last month of the season. And then at the end of the season, Saquon Barkley comes out and says, I rushed back. I shouldn't have rushed back so soon. I played hurt. And by the time I was healthy, it was too late. So my thing is this, Saquon, you the best running back of football, baby. Long as we get you sometime next season, it's all that matters. We want you healthy for the long haul. We want to we want to cut that check for you at the end of the year. This is about long-term success. Saquon, if your body ain't good for training camp, sit your ass down. If your body ain't good week one versus Denver, sit your ass down, bro. We want to win the division. We want to win playoff games. Hell, we might want to win a Super Bowl. Saquon, chill, my G. Just chill. Take your time. I don't want this to be a situation where Saquon is rushing back trying to be tough. Daniel Jones did that last year and, and got his ass kicked versus the Cardinals. Remember that shit? And then because he got his ass kicked versus the Cardinals, he couldn't play versus the Browns. Daniel Jones was so busy rushing last year that he, he went from having a, a, a hamstring injury to hurting the ankle on the other leg. So at the end of the day, rushing only hurts. It never helps. Okay? Basketball, same shit. The boy Kevin Durant tried to rush back and tore his Achilles. DeMarcus Cousins has repeatedly tried to rush back and he get hurt every year. Saquon, you're the best running back on the planet, baby. Take your time. Take your time. We got this. I and Daniel Jones, we trust. We will be fine. We got Galladay. We got Tony. We got Evan Engel playing for his life. Okay? We will be fine. Matt Pert, Andrew Thomas, 
we good. You know what I'm saying? The Giants will be fine. Levante Booker, he will be he, he straight. You feel me? I think we will be okay. Hell, we got to. We put Kadarius Tony ass at running back. Shit. Did it in Florida. We put Kadarius Tony in the backfield if we got to. And I'm not joking. I know some of y'all laughing right now like Fist talking his shit, but no, 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 no. I'm not joking. We could legit put Kadarius Tony in running back if we had to. If it was, if we, he could get some snaps at running back. The boy Curtis Samuel did it last year for the Panthers. Ty Montgomery did it a few years back for Green Bay. We could put Kadarius Tony as a running back and get a popping. So now nah, Saquon, chill out, my G. Chill out, baby. We need you for the long haul, Android 26. So if he not ready on Tuesday when it's time to go to camp, Giants fans do not panic. That's a great sign. In my opinion, if Saquon's not ready and he actually sits out, that's a sign of maturity. That's Saquon saying, I'm going to do this right. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to come back early and risk getting hurt for the for the, for the, for the money stretch of the season. Because remember, Saquon, we're going to need you when it get cold outside. All right, when we want to run these teams into the dirt, when we playing them tough division games versus the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to need them. We'll be fine to open the season without Saquon. We're going to need Saquon when it get cold outside. We want to run these teams into the ground. So, let's just chill. And also, listen, Saquon plays for Joe Judge. Joe Judge, don't he don't like talking about injuries at all, period. So, for all we know, Saquon can be as healthy as can be, but he can't say shit because of Joe Judge's mandate. So, there's a lot that goes into this. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fisk unit soldiers of all ages, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. This is not a sprint, this is a marathon. You understand me? So when it's all said and done, we don't need Saquon in September. We need him in December. That's when we need to be at our best. That's when we need to be at 100%. That's when this offense that I dubbed the Manhattan Project need to be clicking on all cylinders. So we will be fine in September. We need Saquon in December. So take your time. Don't rush back. Just be cool. All right, just be cool. But with that being said, that's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rock it with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.